and this is the hand up here. This turret uh, is got a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint on the arm. So it's all for mobility. Yes. And then all of the type of sensing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Two pairs, stereo pairs in the front of the rover, two stereo pairs in the back of the rover. I'm supposed to know everything about it, but I really don't. The <laughs> scarecrow is up there, or plug into that scarecrow network, and I say, all right, I'm going to drive two meters forward. We hit the top of the atmosphere, going about 13,000 miles an hour. Um, we'll start trying to go, trying to start steering toward the landing site. Uh, this vehicle has guided entry, so we're, we're trying to land precisely. Uh, right at the foot of that mountain. get to about Mach 1.7, deploy our big parachute, uh, hit up to another eight or, eight or so Earth Gs when that parachute inflates. Uh, 30 seconds later, separate the heat shield, start looking for the ground. It takes 14 minutes just for those radio waves to get from, uh, from Mars all the way to Earth. There's no way someone's going to drive this on the way down. So the vehicle's doing it all on its own. I mean, we are landing a ton, a ton of vehicles. It weighs 900 kilograms on the surface of another planet uh, hundreds of millions of miles away. That is a really hard thing to do. Driving robots is a pretty cool job. But you can have a bad day on Mars. You can get a wind gust that makes it so that you cannot land on the surface. And, and there's things outside of our control and we have done everything we can do and we have tested an amazing amount, all the different subsystems, but we've never been able to test all of them to coming together in Mars gravity and in an atmosphere as thin as Mars. I was joking with my wife the other day, I think I have more pictures of the rover on my phone than my kids. Um, and we definitely have an emotional attachment to these things. Telling kids that my job is to drive a robot around on Mars, uh, when third graders think that you have the coolest job in the world, uh, you know you're doing something right. I definitely bite my nails. So <laughs> hopefully I won't be doing that on camera, but, uh, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure you'll see every nervous tick that we have.